Hi everyone, it's me. All right, you guys, it is time again to start another seven day challenge. And the challenge of the week is going to be Heather Robertson's seven day glow up challenge. This is one that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. So just to start with an overview of this challenge, it is seven days long. The workouts are 40 to 45 minutes every single day. So it looks like we've definitely got some tough workouts to do this week. I personally am very happy and pleased to see that there's only one leg and booty day this week. There are a lot of full body days, which are my favorite. So similar to the Growing Ananas seven day challenge that I recently did, it looks like we've got seven straight days of workout. We don't have an obvious like rest day, but yeah, let's give it a go. This is the first Heather Robertson challenge I am trying ever. So yeah, very excited for this one. <laughs> but first, snack time. <laughs> if you've been with me for a while, you know the drill. You know I love Built Bars and you know I have partnered with them as well. So thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring this video. And we love a good Built Bar snack to start off a workout challenge. So let's see what flavor we are going to try today. Ooh. Salted caramel. I don't think I've actually tried this one before. Let's warm this baby up and give her a try. Oh my gosh, that smells really dang good. It smells like a delicious chocolate caramel cake. It smells very caramelly, kind of like butterscotchy. Let's give her a try. Oh, little cross section for you. Oh my gosh, so melty and gooey gooey and flipping delicious. What? What the heck? Okay, I'm actually very, 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 very surprised at this one. Okay, so I've always said that coconut is my favorite Built Bar flavor. This one honestly really rivals it. So if you want to try Built Bars for yourself, I do have a discount code. I'll pop it up here on the screen. It'll also be down in the video description box as well as a link to Built Bar so you could use that for easy access. These bars are honestly so delicious and they're high in protein and gluten-free, so there's nothing to lose. Thank you again to Built Bar for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into the workouts. All right, you guys, time to try the first workout of this glow up challenge. Today's workout is a full body hit. I've just actually watched the first minute or so of this video and Heather just gave a little intro to this glow up program. I did mention it's around 40 minutes long and it does require dumbbells. So I've got my little eight pound babies over here. But yeah, that is all I have to say. Let us start working out. this much in a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I did sweat this much in growing a Nana's program, which was like two weeks ago. It hasn't actually been that long, but it feels like that long. I have that like wet ponytail tip thing again. <laughs> I did do a quick wipe down, so most of it is gone. I looked like I just got caught in a rainstorm or something. Actually, you can see a patch of sweat on my mat behind me. That's so gross. I'm gonna move the camera so you don't see that. So, to talk about this one, there was a warm up and a cool down included in those 40 minutes. We all love a good package deal when it comes to workout programs here. The main workout, it was split into three different circuits, and then we did each circuit twice. The exercises were 40 seconds active and 20 seconds rest, which I think is a standard on Heather's workouts generally. Lots of strength here, a lot of upper body strength. So yeah, this was dang hard. Oh, ah! no, we're not ready for day two yet. For my ratings, I'm gonna give a 10 for intensity. I just whacked myself in the face with my wet ponytail tip. A 10 for intensity, that's what I would say. And then for fun, I'm gonna give this one an 8.7. Oh, something happened today. You know when you're sweating so much and you get a drop of sweat in your eye and it's like, <laughs> you like can't do anything about it? That happened to me today. That's how sweaty I got. On that note, we're gonna leave that here for this workout. I will see you tomorrow. All right, 
day two. Surprisingly, not sore. I thought I was gonna have a pretty sore upper body today and I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> so today on the schedule, we have cardio and abs. This workout is a little longer. It's 45 minutes long. In the intro, she just mentioned that we have two circuits to do today and the structure of this one is going to be a 40 active, 10 rest. So just a slightly different structure there. This one's gonna be no equipment. So yeah, let's get started. I had to towel off again after this one. I am so sweaty. So yeah, I talked about the structure of this one at the beginning before I started this workout. As usual, there was a warm up and cool down, of course, included. And then for the workout itself, it was quite evenly kind of sprinkled with cardio and core exercises. There wasn't like a pure core section and then just a cardio section. It was pretty well mixed in thoroughly throughout the entire workout. We are getting some dang high calorie burns this week, you guys. I think so far, this is the highest average calorie burn for a workout challenge that I've ever done. Granted, we've only done two days so far, and also these workouts are a little bit longer, so that should be expected. But yeah, this was another killer workout. Definitely a lot more like jumpy, runny, cardio based, where yesterday's workout was definitely a lot more strength based. Solid day two, I will have to say. For intensity on this one, I'm gonna give a 9.5, and for fun, I'm going to give an eight. Solid workout. I don't think there was anything like special or standout about this one, but it was average, it was good. I definitely got a really awesome workout out of it. I will see you tomorrow on day three. I think tomorrow we have, ooh, tomorrow is legs and booty day. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> legs and booty day. It's booty day. <laughs> so day three, we have a legs and booty AMRAP workout. So I have tried this AMRAP style before when I did Sydney's Summertime Fine program, but just seeing how Heather does it, it seems very similar. Each active like interval of exercise time is five minutes long. Each round is eight reps, and you just try and fit in as many rounds as you can within those five minutes. So yeah, I feel like this is gonna be a tough one, but when I did try this AMRAP style with Sydney, I found that I was able to really like zone in on myself and focus, so we'll see if I get that same feeling with Heather's here. This video is 38 minutes long, so it's a couple minutes shorter than the other one, so I'm a little grateful for that. I will have to say too, I went on a walk yesterday, not even a crazy walk or a really long one or anything, but for some reason I got a blister on the bottom of my foot, which is very strange because I go for walks all the time. But yeah, I have like a blister very inconveniently on the ball of my foot, so hopefully that doesn't bother me too much. It's kind of bringing me back to my dance days when I always had blisters on my feet and had to push through them. Just a side note, that's how I'm feeling today. We will need dumbbells for this one, so I'm gonna grab them and let's just start. I definitely got very sweaty again today. I've wiped most of it off again just because it's just, it's not okay. So yeah, I definitely got the same feeling from this one that I got when I tried at Sydney's AMRAP workout. Just that feeling of getting your mind off the clock and just zoning into your body and what you're doing. I don't know what it is about counting reps versus time, but you really just like get into your body a lot more and focus a lot more, which obviously is a good thing. Each round that we did included four different exercises. So I think that was really good. It wasn't like we were doing the same exercise for five minutes straight. It was a rotation of four different exercises, which made the entire workout a lot more interesting. And during those five minute active periods, the names of each exercise were listed on the screen the entire time. So if you were on a different pace than Heather, which I was, I was definitely on a much slower pace than Heather was. And she was doing a completely different exercise on screen. I could just look at the text beside her, see the name of the exercise, and just remember what to do next. After 
after each five minute interval, we had a 30 second rest. Heather actually included a preview of what the next four exercises were going to be. So we had a lot of good time to learn what to do next. So it was very easy to follow. For my ratings on this one, I'm going to give intensity a 9.7. It was definitely very intense and I could not keep up with Heather's pace. She was going so dang fast. I was behind the entire time. And then for fun, I'm gonna give this workout a nine, which is the highest fun rating I have given this week so far. And it is shocking that I'm giving a nine to a leg and booty day, but I really like this AMRAP style. But that is it for today's workout. We have an upper body tone and sculpt tomorrow. So I'm excited to get back into that upper body. I will see you then. It's upper body day. My hamstrings are a little sore from yesterday. <laughs> so I think it's good we're having an upper body day today. Dumbbells will be needed in this one. Heather says she uses five pounds. I don't have five pounds. The lightest I have is eight pounds, so I'm gonna try and use that, but I might die. Like if Heather's using five pounds, I don't know how I'm gonna get on using heavier dumbbells than her, but we'll just see how it goes. Let's get started. I just can't change my body day done <laughs> so yeah that definitely would have been way too hard using just the eight pound dumbbells the entire way through they did work for me for most of the exercises I would say but I basically used my eight pound dumbbells for the entire first circuit and then I was like mm this isn't gonna work the whole way through. So I had to get my trusty old wine bottles back out and I just alternated between the dumbbells and the wine bottles depending on what the exercise was. <sighs> I do love upper body day. I always feel so strong and accomplished. <laughs> I also realized while doing this workout that my core, like my ab muscles are a little bit sore as well. So yeah, there's that, just a little observation. <laughs> For my ratings, intensity, I'm gonna give this one a nine. I feel like this workout could vary in intensity depending on what weight you're using. For fun factor on this one, I'm gonna give an 8.5. It was overall a pretty good upper body workout. So that is it for today. Tomorrow we have a Tabata and full body stretch, which I'm very curious about. I don't know how much of that will be Tabata and I don't know how much of it will be a stretch. I think we're due for a stretch day, so that is coming at a good time. I wonder if it's a Tabata stretch. That wouldn't make sense. How do you do a Tabata stretch? Anyways, we'll find out tomorrow, <laughs> but that is it for now. Okay, today is the day that I have been confused about. <laughs> so today is day five, and on the schedule we have a Tabata workout and full body stretch. I've been mentioning that I've been a bit curious to see how this day is going to be split, and looking at the video description here, it says that we have five Tabata circuits, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, and four rounds each, and then a full up body stretch after that. So it looks like the Tabata will be roughly 10 minutes long and then we'll have a 30 minute stretch. I have no idea if I did that math right. I just did really, really quick math in like two seconds in my head. So I could be totally wrong. But let's just get started, give it a try and see what happens. Only Heather could get us to over 200 calories while doing a stretch day. <laughs> so I did a little bit of a miscalculation. Actually, I did not miscalculate. I just didn't have all the info. So when I calculated how long the Tabata portion was going to be, I didn't take into account that each... Ah. Uh, 
one eternity later. Anyways, before we were so rudely interrupted by our robot litter box. So in my calculations of how long the Tabata portion was gonna be, I didn't take into account that each circuit was going to have two exercises. For some reason, I just thought that each circuit would be one exercise repeated four times, but no, each circuit was two exercises repeated four times, which of course doubled our time from our estimate of 10 minutes to 20 minutes. So yeah, it was 20 minutes of Tabata and then 20 minutes of stretch. I will have to say again, I'm not the biggest fan of Tabata because there are so many repeats. Like four rounds of repeats is just a little too much for me. The stretch portion of it though was awesome. It was perfect. I loved it. It's exactly what I needed today. I am realizing that I'm a little bit sore in my hamstrings as well as like some regions of my upper body. So a stretch was definitely well needed today. For intensity on this video, the Tabata wasn't actually that intense. I think the point of it was just to get our heart rates up a little bit before the stretch. So for intensity rating, I'm going to give today a 7.5. And then for fun rating, again, I really, really loved the stretch, but I just don't really like that traditional Tabata style where you repeat things so many times. So for fun, I'm gonna give today a 7.8. Tomorrow on the sketch <laughs> is a total body shred. That sounds dang hard. So I will see you then. It's day six, you guys. We're coming to our final stretch of this challenge. Today we have a total body shred strength and cardio supersets workout. Any workout with the name supersets in it just sounds hard. <laughs> For our workout breakdown, we have our usual warm-up and then we have six total body supersets that are 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and three rounds of each. So we've got a bunch of repeats today. We'll see how I feel about them. Let's go! You and me, got me loose and sleep. I mean too deep like an overdose. You're the anecdote. Loose and sleep, I mean too deep. No matter where I hide, you got me sleep deprived. Day six is done. Woo! <laughs> so this one was exactly what we expected. What I didn't expect is that there were rests within the superset. So I thought we were gonna do a superset and then rest for 20 seconds, but no, there was a rest between every single exercise. This one was definitely hard. I got some sweat into my eye again. <laughs> so definitely very, very sweaty in this one. The repeats in this one were okay for me. I didn't really like them. I would have rather had an entire workout of all different supersets, but I don't think that would have been as effective as this workout was. It was really, really tough. So for intensity, I'm gonna give this one a 10. I thought it was really hard for me personally because we were repeating the supersets one right after the other. It really, really made your muscles burn, and I felt like I was gonna give out by the end of all of them. And then for fun, I'm gonna give this one an eight. That is it for today. We have one more day of this challenge. Can you believe it? We're almost at the end, and tomorrow we have a no repeats hit. So no repeats always sounds like a beautiful thing to me. I will see you tomorrow. We have made it to no repeats hit day. <laughs> so this is the last workout in this glow up challenge. We've got 45 minutes of all body weight, no repeats. The structure of this one is going to be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. It's just one full circuit of no repeating exercises. So I'm excited to do this one. Let's go. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free with me Let's go, let's be oh, We are done this week. The seven day glow up challenge is complete. Can you believe it? So just to talk about this specific workout before I talk about the entire program first, this one felt like kind of a medium intensity all the way throughout the workout. It wasn't like those hit workouts where it feels super intense and then you get a little bit of a break. It definitely felt more steady state to me. I did like the no repeats. It was definitely a breath of fresh air after this entire week of repeats every single day. But yeah, 
quickly just to give you my ratings for this one I'm gonna give intensity an 8 again I thought it was just a medium solid consistent level the whole way through and then for fun factor I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 for some reason even though it was no repeats this workout did feel a little bit long whereas the no repeats workouts from earlier this week felt shorter is Heather turning me into a repeats person I don't know <laughs> but okay that is it for this workout and then to talk about the overall week I really really enjoyed the seven day glow up challenge it was definitely challenging it was definitely overall very intense as you can see we burned so many calories every single day this week so if you're into calorie tracking there's a bonus for you if I were to compare Heather to another fitness influencer I would definitely say Caroline is the closest match they both have very similar structures in terms of how they like to format their workouts they both have very similar aesthetics and also music choices and also also just their focus they're both very focused on strength and I don't know something about her exercises and her workouts reminds me of Caroline so if you are a big Caroline fan you finished all the epic programs and you don't know what to do next I would highly recommend the seven day glow up challenge in terms of a single workout from this program that I would recommend I'm gonna say day three legs and booty AMRAP which is shocking when have I ever, ever recommended a legs and booty day? I really, really like the AMRAP style. Something about it just really agrees with me. I don't know. It makes me really focus in, makes me concentrate, it makes me enjoy the workout, and it makes time fly by. So yeah first time in my life recommending a legs and booty day from a program but that being said that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a like and a comment if you don't know what to comment down below give me a leg emoji in honor of me liking a leg day this week if you like me subscribe do that bell thing and I will see you in the next one bye